I am with Zenka right now, and uh, where she's going to show us how she turns uh, virtual reality, I mean street art, into augmented reality. Exactly, exactly. Really? Are you serious? serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, we think about um, augmented reality right now, and, you know, we don't have the headsets yet, but... but we can do it with our phones and that's I don't the see any electronic wires or anything. Can you show me? Right. I mean, okay. I mean, how does so I've that... got a free app installed on my phone. Okay. And I've got this. Um, this is your logo right here that I'm doing as a demo. Okay. And as soon as the um, Erasma recognizes this logo here, let me hold it a little bit better. I'll try this one too. We want to hold it. Hold really? It straight. Hold on. Hold on. Is my arm in the way? There we go. No. What? Right. So, in other words, as soon as... Well, how did you do that? How did you do that? Is oh, there, here's the Is there dinosaur. like a code on it or something? Did you put a code or is it a QR no. code? No. So, what happens is, as soon as the camera recognizes this image... Okay. Whoops, there we go. Um, it plays the content that we have ready for. It. In this case, dung, be dung um, oh my bugs God. are pushing dung through really? this guy's head. Are you yes. serious? This so, is so, one of the early headsets so that were out there. Can I feel it? Like, wait. So there's no, <laughs> there's like, there's no wire or code. There is or... no wire. And tonight I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. So it's not really? rocket science. Okay. It's not. You can do it with free tools. Everything I'm using is free. Um, so just to rewind a bit, um, this, this sculpture um, that I did is of the Sony smart glasses. And okay. pe people say that augmented Good reality guy. Okay. is it's far a... behind virtual reality. So, so. In the meantime, until these are just integrated into your contact lenses, okay. we have a cell phone to do everything for you. And this okay. is something that you can get started with. Okay. Okay. So I'm first going to show you. Now, I'm first going to show you Erasma is free, as I mentioned, and they give you a really easy way to create your own um, okay. augmented reality. Yeah. So once you get the app installed, you're going to hit on the plus button. Okay. okay, they have all these free animations that you can select from. And we'll we'll just well, pick okay, anything. Well, they have Coca-Cola. That's not a product place. Let's I'm do asking. the spider about, one. The spider. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do a spider. spider. Dude, I had pick to kill a spider. a spider today and it was it was super Murder. bad. Okay, so we're going to select. Spiders have feelings. <laughs> now it asked me spider? Okay. for an image. And we're just going to use this Innovation Crush logo, which, okay. by the way, um... Yeah, okay, so we're going to position it there. So it asks you to position it. We're oh, going to wow. hit next. And now we can give this um, thing a name. So we're just going to say test, let's say test four. Okay. And we can make it public or private. Um, private. In private. Okay, let's make it private. Okay, okay. so finish. So it's okay. creating my work. Now, whenever the camera sees this image, Okay. It's going to play our oh, three wait, dimension. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Wait, wow. There's your That's spider, cool. Matchbox Damn. Spider. You can even take a picture by pressing the picture button. So keep in mind, this is three dimensional. We can move to the side, to the top, whatever. So you have now created your first augmented reality piece in 30 seconds. Wow. Right. That's pretty cool. Right? Very cool. Okay, oh, so, so... And someone just liked it, carded us, so thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say you wow. want to do something a little bit more complicated where you want to add... Now, the first thing you want to get to know is your trigger image. That's whatever your logo or, in this case, a poster or a piece of artwork. And when the camera sees this image, it's going to yeah. say, okay, load the stuff, right? Yeah, okay. You can load an image. It can have transparency. You can load a video. It can okay. have transparency. So the video we had was my husband there, cut out, screaming his head off. Really? Yes. <laughs> so Is that's okay? so you can you can you can do that. And then you can also bring in three dimensional objects. So we can use it for objects. like a wedding ring a proposal. Right. Okay. Right. That's yeah, okay. Exactly, Genius. Exactly, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Um, to do something a little bit more complex like this, what you want to do is you want to get a studio account on Erasma. Okay. Again, it's free. You go to the website. So if you scoot in here, um, you're going to create a new Erasma on the side. Create a new Yeah. I mean, sorry. Create a new Aura. 
And you okay. upload a trigger image. Actually, or I'm gonna... resume. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm actually, gonna go to my um. Let's see. I'm gonna go to the ones that I already and the have. and assets. You know, it's. Oh man, you, your mind is in the gutter, oh, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so okay. let's just go to this one, and we can kind of see what we're doing here. So we're gonna edit. So you have. The first thing you do is you upload your trigger image. Okay, so you okay. browse and look for the file. Okay. Um, you can also, since these two images are very similar, you can actually um, add, um, you can block out common okay. things in both, in both, uh, like I had to block out this dotted line in one of them. Okay. Okay, so we're going to hit save. Okay. And now the second step is going to be what are you going to overlay on top of it? So, um, let's see. Oh, wait, you know, I was going to, I'm just going to start over because I think that's what it needs us to do. Okay. I was going to jump into one we've already done. Okay, so we're just going to pick any image here. Okay. Okay, so the second step, like I said, is what are you going to overlay on top of it? Uh, the free app is the Erasma, right? Right, right. So you go to the next button. And it's and on now iPhone it's... and Android too, right? Yeah, so now it's asking us for okay. an overlay, and we can select existing. So we've got some UFOs, we've got different things here. Um, let's pick him, for example. Okay, so this, guy, this image, it's just a transparent image of a guy with cool hair, is going to show up over top of this. Um, you can resize it. Okay. okay. Right. You can also add another layer. Whoopsie. Um, I'm going to hit existing, but you can upload, um, whatever you want. So let's just add this Beatles. And this is, a, this actually, this Beatles is actually an Erasma thing that they give you. Here's where you can position the mm -hmm. 3D object. Okay. Okay. So, um, then you hit next. You give the Erasma a name. Again, we're going to put cool hair. Okay. You can hashtag it. Um, you can preview it and you can save it. Now, when you um, hit share, again, public. you might want to make it public and you can create a channel. I've created a channel called Zenka Tutorials okay. and I can hit share. Now, is there a hashtag or if, if someone wants to go to yours? Yeah. So the thing that you have to understand about Erasma is that they have to join a channel in order to see your stuff. Okay. Because we're not Coca-Cola that has a super Erasma that anybody can just flip on the phone and see it. So this yeah. that's kind of complicated. So you want to tell everybody, install Erasma and then follow your channel. So they can search for you, so they can search for Zenka. Or you can go here, when, when you have your um, channel, you can, um, they're called campaigns actually, they changed the name. So we hit on that and then we hit share and you can share on Twitter, email, Facebook. And it's just a simple link and people are going to go to that link and it's going to ret retrieve the shared content. Okay, so let me go to the Yeah. So for example, I created a, a bit.ly URL or I created actually um, a link on my website that goes to it. So if you guys are confused, which you probably are, um, all of this information is at zenka.org slash AR tutorial. And I also okay. show you how to um, bring in 3D objects from and Blender. And you spell Erasma, A-U-R-A-S-M-A. -A. Right, 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 right. So I guess what I wanted to convey is that this stuff is really easy. It's a drag and drop interface um, and you can make really amazing stuff with it. Let me show you this postcard here. Um, I'm working on a postcard series. This is the first one. It's a mailable postcard that you can send out. She, one person asked if you can make virtual food with it. <laughs> well, that would be delicious, wouldn't it? So, so yeah. So as soon as. Hello. Oh wait, sorry, sorry. We gotta, we gotta. Made a mistake. Can you try okay. it again? Yeah, sure. So again, um, we're gonna look at this postcard, and all of a sudden, it's coming to life. So did you take a picture or video of yourself or how did you Yeah, do that? so exactly. So um, I'm, I'm working on my next one now where I'm actually doing this like um, Palmer Lucky like thing where I have like an Oculus on. I'm like, oh, like that. And I'm shooting over a green screen 
And you can just get simple fabric. You want something that doesn't reflect light. Um, then when you bring it into Premiere, your editing program, you're going to just key it out. So you're going to have a transparent background, and that's what you want to use for something like this. Okay. Um, so, so, yeah, I think the hardest part about doing augmented reality is really coming up with a really cool idea of an illusion that you want to create. Because you don't just want to take your logo or something and then just show a video or like okay. link to a website. You want to create an illusion of magic. And that's what I've learned over the years has, has been the most successful ideas. Mm -hmm. So you want to make people think that they've got a bionic camera, you know, in their hand and they're being able to, they're going to get to see something that they normally wouldn't. So in this case, they're flashing, you know, back to Harry Potter. Um, so yeah. I did one um, uh, that my husband, an idea that my husband came up with while okay. I was in a gallery and I was pregnant and... Can you do like, uh, some person asks, can I superimpose a Smeagol or something like a Harry Potter picture? Yeah, so you can, you can overlay any image, any video or any 3D object. The cool things about the 3D objects is you can actually move things side to side and see things come out, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was, I was starting to tell you about this idea where I had something on my t-shirt that was a trigger and when people walked by it, all of a sudden they saw through my body. So like can I said, you, an example? you know, okay. the sky's the limit, you know, you could make a t-shirt, you can make a sticker. Um, you just want to make sure that you lead people, um, with the Erasmus logo or with a URL to how they're going to see your work. So there's a little bit of a, um, you know, a user thing in the, in the sense that they have to install the app and they have to follow your channel in order to see your Erasma. Um, you can also take a video of it and put it up on YouTube. But it's a really, really, really exciting technology and uh, it's a lot easier than people think. So come up with a great idea and install Erasma and you're good to go. Okay. Yeah, so um, I also wanted to show you, I'm working, well, I also wanted to show you this by the way, um, if anybody's curious, the way that we created these fabric weed pasting is just by cutting simple paper. Sometimes the thinner paper is actually better because mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to cut. Okay. Um, you can spray um, spray adhesive on the back so it sticks right onto your to your guide onto your fabric. Will that be quick if you show us a yeah, quick so, example? Yeah. So here we go. It'll be so quick, right? Gonna, okay. We're just gonna take the fabric. All right. Put it on there. Stick our um, our piece down. For augmented A R L A. Yeah, this is the A R L A, okay. and then we're done. And then you can trim the edges, and then you can wheat paste. And wheat paste is just a half a cup of flour, a okay. half a cup of water, and okay. three cups of water boiled. And, and how does that work? Rest work? Yeah. So basically, um, we could basically just let's just so wheat paste it right here. Okay. I'm gonna wheat paste one that you've done here. Okay, so let's say we're outside. It's a okay. little bit dark outside okay. right now. So you add the wheat paste onto the light pole or whatever you're gonna okay. do it onto. You stick on your piece. Okay. And then you add the second layer of wheat paste. Oh, nice. And you're good to go. And this is the same stuff they use um, to put up posters. So it's gonna stay there for a long time, but it's also not toxic and it can be removed if it needed to okay so we had a phone call sorry if everyone someone's phone call they should have put on airplane mode please forgive me <laughs> no problem paul okay so um i'm currently working on a new series um um using face shift technology which face is, shift tech, okay can you give us yeah so face shift is really interesting um you can take a three-dimensional camera or even an xbox camera they also sell a camera for you Mm -hmm. Put it in front of your computer and it actually maps your entire face, your entire expression. Oh, really? But then you can pop into the computer and power an avatar. So it's going to be used when we start getting into virtual reality and we're moving through reality in a mm -hmm. new way. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to want to be fully in it. You're not going to always want to be, you know, first person. So um, you're going to have many avatars that you use while you're in these virtual worlds okay. and this is a way that helps us animate those characters so so the series that i'm working on now has has the person and okay. then it also has some of the characters like this is a a guy from um fallout 
And these are some League of Legends sculptures um, of other characters, Vane and Echo. Okay. So yeah, um, like I said here, let's show them one last time. If you want an interview more about uh, my artwork and my philosophy, um, there were just a, um, last Zinka. week. Zinka.org slash crush. Yeah, there's a, um, an interview you can check out. Okay. And again, the Zinka.org AR tutorial if you want to get the nuts and bolts. Okay. And um, you're at Perspective 20... 25. That's 20, my 25. Twitter. And I'll probably upload this to uh, YouTube, but uh, you can find me if you type in Perspective on YouTube. Okay, uh, great. You can find Paul on Perspective 2025. He's doing a really awesome project where he's taking um, a YouTube series of, about artificial intelligence, and he's also publishing um, an ebook about the future and all that it's going to entail of stories. So check that out. Um, and I'm also at Hello Zenka, Twitter and Instagram. Okay. Thank you, Zenka. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And uh, we'll keep an eye on Twitter because I'll probably upload this to YouTube to see if I can record it. But thank you, thank you everyone. No and uh, if you don't, uh, here. So thank you everyone and have a good day.